That's a success. It's really a success. And you can take someone so broken and just deliver them to their happily ever after. And yeah, there might still be some kinks and stuff to work through, but they're delivered, they're happy, and they're healing. The dogs always know when something's up. Ellie is heading off to Nashville. I'm gonna be staying here and leaving on Thursday, and she is leaving today, but the dogs know something's up. Hey. Yes, you can. Okay. What are you doing? There's not gonna be any food on the plane, so I'm heating up engine two burritos so that will help me eat. Sorry, does that say eight minutes? <laughs> Please don't cook that for eight minutes. What happened? I don't understand. Stop it. <laughs> uh, probably put it for ten minutes. I probably put it for so ten. This, this is what happens when. Wait, Ellie, wait, wait! It's supposed to cook for three minutes. This is what happens when Ellie cooks. Wait. They do not need. Look at this. <laughs> look at this, you guys. Wait. But yeah. But here, hurry! I gotta go. Here's, here's how you don't cook an engine two burrito. Okay, it's probably not a good idea to put these burritos in my purse. I should probably put them in a lunchbox. This is how it is getting her out, folks. <clears throat> Any day of the week. Lakota comes into the barnyard with me when I go out there at 9 o'clock to, to tuck everybody in. We're doing so, 9 o'clock again? Yeah, because it's too hot earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's really warm, and so like I keep my eye on the temperature, and then as soon as it gets cooler... I go out to close the windows and put the blankets on. I'm talking to Sean. She'll Sean. call you, Sean. I'll call you. I love you. Goodbye. Cheyenne doesn't have shoes. Cheyenne, go get shoes. Oh my God. She was going to get on a plane without any shoes. I love her. Such a hippie farm girl. <laughs> See you in a few I days. Love you. Have a safe flight, okay? Will you call me when you land? Yeah. And take off? Yeah. And while you're flying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I love you. So this is the beginning to a really great week, you guys. I'm going to get out there uh, late Thursday for Friday morning. Uh, we're going to go to the Nashville Veg Fest, which is really exciting. So Cheyenne and I made it on the plane, and we're headed to Nashville. Cheyenne was there for our grand opening, but Cheyenne, you haven't met Molly or Minnie Mae. You haven't seen how big the chicks are. I haven't met Fritz and Speckles, right? So, yeah, I'm so excited to meet them. Who are you most excited to see? All of them. <laughs> I miss all of them, and I can't wait to meet them. Yay! We made it! Genovar, Nashville. It's dark. I know the chickens and pigs and turkeys and everybody will be in bed, so I guess we'll wait till tomorrow morning to see them. Good morning from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm so excited to go down and see the animals in the barnyard. But I actually don't have to wait to get to the barnyard to see animals because the house is filled with them. And I wanna take you on a little kind of Dudley tour of the house. so beautiful here and the grass has finally started coming back in. Hello handsome boy. Oh Captain you're so handsome. Hi yes, baby. Hi. hi. Last time I was here in Nashville Tennessee we had a very broken horse that had been neglected for so many years could barely walk was grateful for the help and she would just stand there and let us help her. Now we kind of have an ornery horse on our hands with bad behavior. So we want to continue her healing process, but we also want to show her like, hey, you can't treat us like that. So we have some work to do. Wow, her hooves do look amazing. Hi. 
Hi. <laughs> The way that her joints are, are contorted and, and actually, I guess, frozen in that position, and the way that the hoof is grown around that, in order for us to get her comfortable with the shoe, we need to go ahead and get her a base underneath that foot, so more like a flat spot on the bottom of the foot, um, and then work that inside portion of the hoof down. So that's okay. kind of the goal is, like we did last time, is we, we started to give her more of a flat spot, more of a base at the bottom of that limb. Uh -huh. And so we'll continue that today and then you know see as we move forward how that changes how that morphs and then we'll go with the glue on appliance to help give her more comfort but she looks like she's moving around pretty good from what i've seen so exciting thank you so much for working with her so beautifully yeah you're welcome but look at cheyenne she's in the back of the pickup truck it's so fun living on a farm Is that fun? Yeah. <laughs> Next time, you'll drive the truck. <laughs> well, I finally got it. Everybody at work and everybody around me, including Cheyenne, um, has been sick. And uh, finally, my throat got hit uh, yesterday. Jay? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Well, the cool thing was getting my vitals. Um, they're really, really good, um, really low. Engine two diet really works. Well, basically um, uh, tonsillitis and uh, definitely very painful in the throat. Um, he prescribed an antibiotic for me um, and said to get some uh, anti-inflammatories in there for my throat. Um, man. It's uh, definitely an uncomfortable thing. Anyway, off uh, to the gentle barn. It's Bingo's birthday, so we came to Three Dog Bakery to buy him some cakes and cookies and toys if they have them. That's a, that's a stuffed animal. Look at all these cookies. Yeah. That's a stuffed animal. He's barking at the toy dog. That's so cute. <laughs> wow, you've got a lot of really fun things. Bingo, is this the most exciting store you've ever been in? I think it's the most exciting store I've ever been in. <laughs> it's so it's fun, so right? Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bingo. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Bingo. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Happy 10th birthday, Bingo. <laughs> in the office um, and check in real quick before I take off to the airport. And so what's going on in here, guys? Well, uh, oh, yeah, as usual. <laughs> the usual? You got your assistant? Yes. We have lots of work to do. What do you think? What do you think of this candidate? <laughs> She's not interested. Well, I finally got out of there and I'm on my way to the airport in Los Angeles. <clears throat> Can't wait to get to Nashville to see Ellie and Cheyenne and Bingo. Welcome to Nashville. I made it. I think everybody's probably sleeping though. I don't know, 1.20 in the morning? Time to get some sleep. Well, it's a beautiful morning here in Nashville <clears throat> at the Gentle Barn. Oh my God, it's so beautiful here. A year ago, we rescued two dogs. They were hunting dogs, they were severely abused, abandoned ultimately. Um, and they came to the gentle barn, Tennessee. They were covered in ticks and both about 20 pounds underweight. One of the volunteers that sat with them once a week fell in love with them and she adopted them. It's been about nine months since we've seen them. So Jay and Cheyenne and I are going to visit them. 
for me, I, I think that the coolest thing about this is that they were actually, you know, in the woods, dumped, you know, running scared. Their their pads were were you know like so damaged from from running and running and running. Um, the the role I liked playing in in the whole thing was being able to be a, a man that you know could just be there and not be harmful to them, and so they could learn that they were safe in that way. Yeah. Hello. Hey, Heather. It's Ellie. Hi. Hi there. So we're here. She said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her legs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh, she has the same look. Hi, wonderful. Hi. Girl. Say hi. Hello. Good girl. Hello. Hello. Oh, Grace, you're so beautiful. It's so nice to see you again. take someone so broken and just deliver them to their happily ever after and yeah there might still be some kinks and stuff to work through but they're delivered they're happy and they're healing are you so excited <laughs> yay adeline today is nashville veg fest and there are literally thousands of people waiting to meet you and i was wondering if you might be willing to ride in the car with us and then go into Nashville Veg Fest with us and take pictures and let people meet you. On behalf of billions of turkeys everywhere, you will be their voice and you will show people how amazing and intelligent you are. Yes? You ready? Would you like me to carry you to the car or would you like to walk to the car? Okay, a bit more. All right, we're gonna have a wonderful day. We're on a road trip again with our Adeline, this time a little shorter than from California to Tennessee. We're going to the Nashville Veg Fest, and Adeline is going to be greeted by throngs of fans taking pictures, petting her, and discovering the intelligence and affection of turkeys. This is going to be a great day. Adeline is a very professional, experienced car rider. This is what's called throngs of people. Can we walk that way? Oh, there we go. Thank you, sweetheart. There you go, my love. Adeline is uh, heading in. See her throngs of people. Keep walking to our booth, my love.
Blade to No Evil. What's up, y'all? One of our sponsors this year. Yeah. Gonna make some No Evil sausages out of the Gentle Barns. Oh, yeah, huh? What's up, kids? How y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> what are you guys sampling today? Our salad dressings. Follow your heart salad dressings are the way to go. They're the game changer in the salad dressing world. So tell us about Lava. Um, we're a plant-based restaurant located in heart of Nashville, right by Centennial Park. We try to focus on really good vegetables instead of using artificial meat. So um, we are focusing on the healthier side of vegan food. So if you're ever in Nashville, come out and join us. Awesome. So our next speaker is Ellie Lax. Ellie Lax is the founder of The Gentle Barn, a national nonprofit that rescues and re rehabilitates unwanted animals and heals people with the same stories of abuse and neglect. The thing that we have to do as people that care so deeply about animals and the planet and our evolution is to celebrate the victories. Food in Del Taco, Burger King, Taco Bell, White Castle, think TGF Fridays, like, I mean, the list goes on. It's becoming mainstream. They sell vegan food in Target and Walmart. If you wanna know something's mainstream, that's the way. <laughs> Those are our victories, and we need to celebrate them. We need to feel joy from them, and then get back to work. Probably the most important step that has helped me the most is every single morning, Jay and I meditate for five minutes where we're visualizing the world we want to create. Because if we can't see it, taste it, smell it, and believe in it, who else is gonna? Can you spell your name for me? Yeah, Lindsay. L I N D S E Y. Thank you. So you guys, I'm really excited because I have such a hard time finding um, clothes and wallets and belts and things like that that I can wear that are vegan. And this company, Dashi, has all vegan uh, leather products. Cool. Veg fests are always really fun for us. We always really love them. This was a particularly good one. You know, focus of the staff that was running the event was really great. Our volunteers were absolutely awesome. Connecting with all the people who were just so interested. Adeline was just a rock star. Um, and uh, Cheyenne, you know, was so helpful too. So it was just a wonderful experience for me. The energy here at the Nashville Veg Fest was really good too. Very positive. Everybody had big smiles on their faces. It was a real sense of community. Um, another great year under our belts, and I cannot wait till next year. Sounds good to me. Let's go home. You did a fantastic job today. You are a real rock star. Thank you for doing this work with us, Adeline. Thanks for hanging with us, y'all. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, and ring that bell.